Okay, I'm making my usual breakfast with some high protein yogurt, sliced almonds, peanuts, lots of applesauce, and protein powder. What are your go to Trader Joe's meals? My go to ones are the pork soup dumplings. Pork soup dumplings, okay. Yes. I also got a bunch of these. I think you should get some. As you can see, my meal prep chicken, <laughs> chicken, chicken, 36 eggs. Letting Emily do the heavy work. <laughs> All right, so this is our office for today. Oh, this is nice. This looks so cool. So this is our first uh, joint work day, I guess. Starting on a Sunday. That's how it should be in a start. You have a piano to play it. We are fine with this table. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this looks like a big corporation's board meeting. Yeah. It's such a nice table, like so many books behind you. Yes. So first challenge of the day no electricity plugs so you have to move to another room this is gonna feel very productive with this music <laughs> it sounds like it's like it's like sleep music i could sleep here <laughs> and this also looks more comfortable in the sofa that i slept on last night we are trying to get something done and all of a sudden ads are playing <laughs> about pizza <laughs> okay lunchtime I'm trying to make this thing how does this work? I don't know. There's instructions, but I don't like to read. Oh, wait, I can just heat it up in the microwave. So Emily and I are really confirming all the stereotypes. So I, a bodybuilder eating chicken and rice with, with additional meats. And what are you having? I'm having soup dumplings. Soup okay, dumplings. Yes. I highly recommend them. Okay, so quick update. Uh, done with lunch. Um, what have we been doing over the past several hours? We've been brainstorming memes and oh, also yeah. figuring out exactly how we want this week to go. So, what are our yeah. goals for the end of the week? We didn't really come up with a good name yet. Actually, the problem is we always either have a great name idea, but then the domain is taken, or the domain is available, but the idea is like, yeah. Yeah. We'll figure it out though. We'll keep you posted. So, Emily and I have had enough of being inside, so we're gonna go outside now to the pool area and to the lounge area. Check this out now. Overall, even though the nice weather and pool made our work more enjoyable, it was still a rather frustrating day for Emily, who was desperately trying to find that one annoying bug in her Java code that was blocking the whole system from functioning properly. At the end of the day, neither Emily nor I are web developers, so it sometimes takes us a bit longer to figure out these rather trivial problems. Hi Emily, how's it going? So this is Emily yawning. I'm always yawning. Very, very tired. So check out our surroundings. Isn't that amazing? Pool here, we have the ocean all the way down there. I don't know how we're going to be productive here. I don't know, maybe we'll end up taking a nap. <laughs> well, she probably will, I won't. Because I pre slept. I slept nine hours in advance before coming here so that I cannot sleep here and still not be tired. That's the trick. <laughs> Competitor research. I'm and Emily's actually doing the serious work. Yeah, I'm working on making the app. And, uh, Does it work already? Reviewing my CSS and HTML. We have a very, very simple prototype, but we need to make it look nice. That's what I'm currently working on. So we need to, we need to prettify it. Yes. I cannot <laughs> see anything. Like your laptop has the ultimate like screen protection. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a good thing it's for a the secret. video. You won't yeah. be able to see it until we, later. We don't. We don't want to tell anyone <laughs> anything yet. <laughs> All right, back in the apartment, so uh, time for some emergency proteins for me. In the meantime, Emily has been working really hard on getting the backend work. Uh, she's doing a lot of coding right now, and I'm simply not knowledgeable enough to help her, so I feel a bit bad about that. Uh, well, in the meantime, I've been working on fundraising, on contacting VCs, contacting law firms and other companies that we need to work with. So Emily and I are upgrading our work environment to hammocks. This is really cool, though. I'm gonna grab the one that's just, yeah, I'm gonna grab this one. Be careful, I'll drop the laptop. Oh no, it's falling! <laughs> maybe, maybe this isn't the best location to put this. <laughs> Eventually, Emily did manage to find that bug in the code. That was the happiest and most excited I had seen her in quite a while. Also, as it was getting quite late, we went to an Indian restaurant to grab some takeout food for the final work session of the day in the office. Okay, so we're done with work. Are we done with work for today? Well, I'm not. But I don't know. <laughs> okay, the startup isn't done yet, but we got quite a lot done. So Emily was doing a lot of the backend coding. I was doing a lot of VCs, emails, and we tried to start also work on the the front end. What else were we doing? Well, we're having good food now. 
-hmm. that's important. Yeah. <laughs> so that was it for me today. Tonight is my turn on the nice bed over here. And Emily has to sleep on the tiny sofa. So hopefully I'm gonna get more than just four hours of sleep as I did last night because otherwise I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. So Emily got a really interesting message on Instagram from, from a guy. Do you wanna tell people what he sent you? Yeah, it said something like, Samuel Bosch, the gem of a man. And any lady would be, he's every lady's dream man or something like that. Yeah, so you heard that? I'm every, every lady's dream man. <laughs> no, I actually like the message. It's very nice. 